Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie which is all about integrating your IoT devices with your preferred home automation ecosystem. In my past videos I have shown how I integrated my Synology NAS 218 Plus with HomeKit uh, plus tutorials uh, in installing Hoops and HomeBridge. Frankly speaking the Synology NAS uh, is an integral device in my home network as well as my workflow. So do take a look and uh, don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button uh, to follow along. So for those consumers like me who do have a Synology NAS, uh, there are other ways to take advantage of Docker. And so for the next couple of videos, a little bit of deviation for my regular routine, I will show a couple of simple uh, installations uh, to install five containers uh, in Docker in a more simplified manner. I use Docker because all of the applications run within one environment and they're all lightweight. So on our quest to integrate our not so certified devices into Apple HomeKit, we do have the MQTT plugin that works with Hoops, HomeBridge, Home Assistant, or OpenHAP. And to use that service, we need to install an MQTT broker. For those who don't know, the MQTT protocol provides a lightweight method of carrying out messaging using a publishing subscribing model. For those who have the Synology NAS, Today, we will install and configure the MQTT container using Docker via the user interface and plus test the communication if the Docker service is working correctly. So let's not waste time like I always say and let's jump into this tutorial. Let's log into the Synology server. Let's open up Docker. And uh, before we go into the installation of MQTT, these are the two additional links uh, that I have added in. So this is the Docker web page of the Mosquito sir, uh, container and uh, how to carry out its installation. You can do it in two ways. You can run it through um, a command line as well as a, a user interface and also use um, the docker.yaml uh, configuration. Plus also I've added into the description is the MQTT.fx uh, uh, app that you can use to test the uh, communication. So let's hold, head over to the uh, NAS page to install uh, Mosquito. So can, let's go to um, registry and let's type your Mosquito. And let's select uh, the first one. Always select the uh, latest tag. And while that's being uh, downloaded, let's open up File Station. And uh, within the Docker folder, we'll create uh, another folder called Mosquito. And within this folder, we will create uh, three more folders which is data, log, and config. And within the config folder, we will also create a file called uh, mosquito.conf. So I open my text editor, file new. And uh, let's go to the web page and just copy these three lines, paste it over here, file, save, mosquito, config, and we're going to type mosquito.conf and save. Let's close this. Let's close this and uh, let's go to the image. Let's double click. And advanced settings, enable auto restart. And with the uh, volume, we're going to add in two folders. The first one is config. And we're going to type here mosquito 
config I'm gonna add in another folder actually this time it's a file so we're going to go back to file and we're going to type here mosquito.conf we go to network leave it as it is and we're going to add in one eight eight three and we're also going to add in nine thousand one nine thousand one no additional links environment you can add in the time zone you want to say apply you want to say next say apply so go to our, to our containers uh, we've got the uh, mosquito service up and running okay so let's do one thing let's open up uh, this uh, app that I have already downloaded and go to the configuration hit add you're going to uh, I'm going to call this as my Synology and what you want to do is you want to put in the broker address is 192.168.86.12 and we want to say okay so we have the service over here so to confirm if the service is working we're going to do connect and there we see it's green and uh, we're going to type here uh, YouTube publish and we go to subscribe we go to select a YouTube subscribe and we're going to say hello world publish and you see over here hello world from uh, the service it's, it's uh, subscribing let's try again uh, go again you can see how are you publish and you see how are you so uh, we confirmed that the uh, MQTT service is running through the uh, user interface uh, configuration that we have just completed finally there we are collaboratively we have installed the MQTT container in docker in our next video we will install the watchtower container now, to keep all of this going, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. That's the real driver. That's the real uh, motivator. The more, the merrier to bring all of this content to you. And if there's any doubt, and if there's anything I can help with, you can also put down your comments uh, down below. So, until then, take care, stay safe, have a nice day, cheers, and ciao.